both. Let's see if that will be a disadvantage or can he sweep around the check driver, Patrick Hayek, who pulls to the left of your screen now for the second round of the Euro Champs. Paolo De Conto, he's getting on with it. He's ready to go here this afternoon. The Italian from Treviso in Veneto, Northern Italy, is fired up in the number 19 Max to powered CRG. There goes David Foray into position in the number 14 goal cart. Gary Carlton in the Formula K car moves into position. One row ahead of Marcus Armstrong. And Stan Pex, the Dutchman, who had that incident in the pre-final. Let's get ready to go racing for the second round of the European Championships. Green flag at the back of the field. What a start by Paolo De Conto, but he's got too much wheel spin. He initially bolted off the line, but he's going to be back to fourth or fifth. He battles with Pescador, but out front, it is the Czech driver, Patrick Hayek in the Cosmic Cart, who will lead from Iglesias. And guess who? Marco Ardigo. It looks as though, oh, Marcus Armstrong has spun. He's been involved in an incident with the American Gary Carlton. Carlton from California stepping out of his cart. He's completed two corners and is out of this race. Ardigo in third place looks behind him. There's a bit of a gap back to the CRG. Looks like Flavio Camponeschi has got a good start. No, it's in fact Paolo De Conto who's recovered now into fourth place, having got the better of Jorge Pescadore, the Spaniard. There he is. He's holding up a freight train for fifth spot. They come around the final corner for the first time of this 18-lap final. There's Pescadore. Patrick Hayek winds it up. Second spot is Iglesias, and it's out of the goal. De Conto, Pescador has gone wide, and he's lost a spot to Douglas Lundberg. The Swede in the German Mac 1 cart moves up another spot. So it is now Douglas Lundberg in sixth on the tail of the second Saudi carts of Anthony Abbas. The front three skipping away from the field just a little bit. Paolo De Conto does not want to let these three get away. This is currently your podium, but there is a long, long way to go for this, the second round of the European KZ Championships. Hayek in the Cosmic Cart. Jeremy Iglesias, the Frenchman in the French Soddy Cart. And the Italian Marco Ardigo in the green Italian Tony Cart. So the field starts to settle down on these opening laps. This is lap number two. Art, uh, Hayek winds it up. Fourth gear, fifth, sixth, 157 k's an hour. Iglesias in second. There goes to Conto. There's a bass. Position number five for the second Frenchman in the second French Soddy cart. Hayek continues to lead. Ardigo just watches on in position number three. So a long way to go in this one. Hayek in the cosmic cart. As we mentioned, he took pole position in yesterday morning's qualifying. He's doing a good job at the moment. There's Ardigo on screen. Hayek comes across the line, winds it up, start lap number four here at Zwera. Iglesias a little bit closer. Ardigo seems to have lost a little bit of time as Hayek a little bit close to the entry. It's not quite flat out in these KZ carts. They're carrying too much speeds, close enough to 100 miles an hour. There's De Conto, a bass in the second of the Soddy carts. So we've got Soddy carts running in second and fifth. We know how determined they are to win. The French team with the two French drivers and the lone Dutchman. Bas Lammers starting to fight his way back through the field as is Eric Theresen, who's moved up a couple of spots. The Dutchman in the Ricardo cart just on the outside of the top 10. Not a bad start for Rick Drazen, considering he had to start on the back row of the grid, the final spot on the grid. Hayek, though. Being challenged a little bit this time by the Glacius. He's getting closer. 
The field indeed is starting to bunch up. There is Douglas Holmberg going through. Bass Lemmers picks up another position further back in the field. Desperate to try and recover after that disastrous run in the pre-final. Unfortunately, we have lost two drivers from the English-speaking part of the world. I'm speaking about Gary Carlton from California coming together with the Kiwi, Marcus Armstrong. He hasn't had a good run so far. The driver from New Zealand, he won the third and final round of the Euro Champs in 2015 at Christianstad. Remember, the 2016 has not gone the way of the young Kiwi. He's already out of this final after only a few corners. So the front, re front three remain on screen. Hayek, Iglesias, who's getting a little bit closer and he's taking a tighter line in that soddy cart. Fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear right there. 158 k's an hour. They back it off into turn number one. There goes Ardigo. He's not close enough to get in the slipstream. There's De Conto under pressure now from Anthony Abbas. Douglas Lundberg. In the Mac 1 cart, doing a good job. There come the gold carts inside the top 10. It looks like it's been a brilliant start by Jordan Lennox Lamb. One of the gold carts, I think that was Foray, going side by side with Lundberg also. Douglas Lundberg from Sweden. He's had really good speed in that Mac 1 chassis from Stuttgart in Germany. He's still comfortably inside the top 10. Just flashes by there at the top of your screen was Lundberg from Sweden. Of course, we'll be racing at the World Championships on his home track, Christianstad, on September 4. But before we get there, there is the European Championship to decide. This is the second round. Artico had that thing drifting. Ken Block would have been proud of that one. The Tony Kart sideways through turn one as he backed off from 100 miles an hour. De Conto, well, he had dreams of getting on the podium, but now he is coming under attack himself. They go through the turn five, turn six sector, section of the track. What a brilliant start it has been by the Brick Jordan, Lennox Lamb. We knew he had the speed in that Birrell Art somewhere. He's now up and flying the Brit. Let's look for him, he's in position number five. There he is. Sorry, position number seven, the driver from England. He's come from way back on the grid. As Iglesias gets very close to the back of Patrick Hayek, this time he's in the slipstream. Artigo, a very interested spectator in third. Not quite close enough. Good horsepower out of that vortex from Patrick Hayek. Jordan has lost a couple of positions just on that last half lap. Just as we're saying, what a good run he was having. It is still De Conto holding off a bass. The freight train at the top of your screen. Iglesias, this is where he gains on the check driver. The Soddy Kart team desperate to win in 2016. They were third in the World Championships on their home circuit of Le Mans in 2015 with their driver Arno Kozlinski who is now in 2016, well, it's just like football, he switched teams. He's now team manager for the CRG racing team. Iglesias, a tighter line than Hayek as we come up to not even half race distance, winds it up one more time. Abbas has got through now on De Conto. So De Conto back to fifth as we look at Artigo, a little bit tighter line that time from the Italian into the 59s comfortably from the check driver. Working those Vega tires to the absolute limit. Fortunately, we've lost one of the gold carts though. You just saw the yellow flag out. I think that was the reigning European champion in the K2 category, Joel Johansson. That only leaves their sole driver. No, in fact, that was Foray who's out, Foray is not going to finish this one. So that is a disaster for the four-time world champion, the second round of the series, after starting the season so well. Top five finish for both Johansson and Foray at the Winter Cup, and they thought, how good is this? They had the speed. 
but it hasn't quite gone to plan since then. Abbas now comfortably into fourth spot and pulling away from Takonto. Takonto under pressure from Douglas Lundberg. The Swede in position six and all over the back of the Italian. This is the front three. Oh, he's gone through. Uh, Lundberg is now up into fifth spot. What a brilliant move by the Swede. Douglas Lundberg has come from a long way back. He's got the CRGs in for the ride with him. Kamponeski also. The reigning European champion. He won on this circuit 12 months ago. We reach half race distance. And your leader remains Patrick Hayek. So let's recap them for you. It is Patrick Hayek from Iglesias. They come across the line. The gap is 0.4 of a second. Artigo, Abbas, Lundberg. What a drive by the Swede. He's now into fifth. Can the Swede in the Mac 1 cart make it onto the podium? He's ahead of Takonto, Puhaka, Lennox Lamb. A good run earlier on. There he is in the Art in that battle. Holding off Bass Lemmers, who's come from grid 18 to be in ninth. And Stan Pex rounds out the top 10. We go back to the front. Let's take a quick glance at Lundberg going through. Gee, he's not that far off the front three. Douglas Lundberg could be in for a sensational result here. For the small team from Stuttgart in Germany, he's in five. As they come on to the start, finish straight. Iglesias looks over his shoulder. The sight he sees is absolutely, well, demoralizing because it is the number two Tony card of Marco Ardigo. You can see he's 0.6 of a second off the lead. Then it's Abbas. Lungard is fifth. Puhaka de Conto. It's faded to seventh. Lennox Lamb in eight. Bass Lemmers. And Stampex rounds out the 10. Flavio Camponeschi, look at that. Position number 12 for the Italian, the reigning European champion. But not only that, he was second on the podium at the opening round of the series in France. He's now back in 12th, having dropped from the fourth row of the grid. Iglesias, well, the gap last time was 0.239 of a second. You can see it is only two cart lengths, but they've got... They've got different speed in different sectors of the track. Hayek has got really good top end speed. As has Iglesias from that matter. He's not close enough to get into the slipstream. He takes the tighter line through the infield section. Two thirds race distance. Don't discount Ardigo. Look at him. The driver from Brescia, world champion at Marienburg in 2007. World champion a year later at La Conca, Muro Lachese, World Circuit in 2008. And then in 2014, he won this class, the KZ category at Sarno International Circuit. He's a three-time world champion. He's with the Kraft Tony Kart squad. He sits in position number three, but he's just watching this battle. He's not close enough to make a move, but he knows that Iglesias won't give up on making a pass for the lead in the next five and a half laps. And when he does so, Ardigo, guaranteed, will be there to fight for the win. Abbas, in the second of the slotty cards, well, will team tactics come into it? He's still a fair way back, 2.6 seconds. As you glimpse Iglesias, there's Abbas. Oh, Lundberg's lost out that time round. We see what's happened. He's got passed now by Bass Lammers. There's Flavio Camponeschi. One ahead of Joel Johansson. Rick Drazen goes through in the Ricardo car. Hayek. The gap was 0.28 of a second. It's 0.25, but I don't need to tell you that. You can see how close it is on your screen. The never-ending left sweeper, Artigo. If anything, is getting closer. You can see we've lost Armstrong, Foray, and Jorge Pescadore. George the Fisherman, as his name literally translates into English, Bad luck for the Praga Kart team driver from Valencia in Spain, classified 18th and out. And Europex, the reigning world champion after being injured, also has pulled into the pits and is out of this one. Gary Carlton has managed to restart.
He is a lap down, but he's still circulating for the Formula K team, flying the flag. Also for the United States. There's Artigo. So Vortex leading TM on screen now. Iglesias and Vortex in third. Three and a half laps remaining. Artigo calculating. Nothing dramatic, nothing spectacular. But we looked at the gap a few moments ago and thought, no, oh, he's too far back to, have to make a move. I tell you what, he is closing and closing. He's about two cart lengths back. He'll get the benefit of the slipstream next time around. Patrick Hayek skipping away a little bit. We'll expect the move to come. Artigo and Iglesias, they fought for the win in the opening round of the Euro Champs at SA Normandy in France. If the move is the slightest bit messy, that will allow Patrick Hayek from the Czech Republic to pull away. But Iglesias has not given up on a win. You saw him changing through the gear, slamming his right foot flat. 158 k's an hour right there. We go back to a bass. Then it's Puhaka, the driver from Tempre in Finland. He's come from grid number 10 to be in fifth. There's Rick Drazen going through the 2014 Euro Champ. Has not had a good run here this weekend. He's circulating behind, you wouldn't believe it, the driver who won here 12 months ago, Flavio Camponeschi is down in position number 13. Two and a half laps remaining. The gap is out to 0.3 of a second between uh, Patrick Hayek, Jeremy Iglesias, Artigo. Well, is this how they're going to finish? Surely not. Surely someone's going to make a move. Patrick Hayek, though, is putting in the big ones. Can he take the win for Cosmic? They won their first ever world championship as a manufacturer six months ago at La Conca Muro Lecese World Circuit. That was in the KF category in the hands of Carol Bash, who we'll see in action at the conclusion of this race for the OK final. Fastest lap. Well, that's some consolation for the Brit. We know that card is quick. The Birrell Art, there he is at the back of your screen there in the yellow helmet. He is in seventh place. He won't make the podium. But we know that Birrell Art is quick. So is the driver, Jordan Lennox Lamb, former World Cup winner. Back in seventh spot there. 13th, Kampaneski, you can't believe it. So they will come around this time. A lap and a half to go. Hayek has got the gap out to 0.5 of a second. No one predicted this coming into this round as Wera, but give credit to the driver from the Czech Republic. Still, the checkered flag has not come out yet. 1.7 Ks to go. Iglesias is definitely too far back to make a move, move unless it is a mistake. And I can't see that happening from any of these drivers. They're all too good. They're all too professional. Abbas is off the podium. He's in fourth. Now Patrick Hayek looks behind him for the first time in this race. He's got 0.569 of a second. Back to the Frenchman Iglesias and then the Italian. Marco Artigo is in third. He won the opening round of the series. He'll still be on the podium. It'll be valuable points. But I think Cosmic surely are going to take the win. The final few corners. Patrick Hayek from the Czech Republic. Up through the gears, fourth, fifth, sixth, 158 k's an hour. Patrick Hayek has won the second round of the European Championships here in Spain. Across the line in second spot, the Frenchman Jeremy Iglesias. And the round one winner gets valuable points. Marco Artigo takes third. Well, credit to the driver from the Czech Republic. He led from the pole. He qualified fastest yesterday morning. He won a heat. He won the pre-final. And he has won the European Championships at the highest level here on the windswept plains of Spain. That is the Zuera International Circuit. Well, the move didn't come. We thought it would. But in the end, Iglesias could not quite get close enough. Absolute credit must be given to the driver 
of the Cosmic Racing Department. Outshining their sister team, to some degree at least. Remember, we just mentioned that they won their first world championship in the hands of the Polish driver, Carol Bash, last year. So Cosmic Karts and Eastern Europe, something about the drivers from now. So we recap the winner for you, the placings for you. Hayek has won from Iglesias and Marco Arvio. That is your podium. Czech Republic, France and Italy. Abbas was fourth. What a drive from Bass Lemmers from the back of the grid to finish fifth. Simo Puhaka was sixth. Jordan Lennox Lamb seventh with the fastest lap of the race. Lornberg, a good result, although he had better speed than that, up in fifth earlier on, finishing eighth. Head of Lorenz or complacy. Give him credit also from the back of the grid to finish in ninth spot. And Stan Pex, a young Dutchman in his race debut in the KZ World Championship class, rounds out the top ten. Unfortunately, we lost his older brother, the reigning world champ, Europe Pex, Jorge Pescadore, Foray and Armstrong. Armstrong involved in that earlier incident on the second corner with Gary Carlton, who did restart. Give him credit for that. Gary Carlton coming home in 15th spot.